Welcome to the channel Tech Base. You can get global latest technological news in daily video. Please subscribe this channel. In August 2020, the U.S. Department of Commerce issued a series of notices. Since then, the U.S. sanctions against Huawei have appeared in everyone's eyes. In this sanctions, the United States said that it would put the semiconductor industry outside the United States on the list of sanctions. No matter what kind of industry it is, as long as it trades with Huawei, it must be approved by the United States. This move by the United States completely ruined Huawei's way to purchase chips. At this time, the United States put Huawei on the blacklist on the grounds that Huawei's industries would endanger the security of the United States. This move by the United States made it impossible for TSMC to continue to provide any chips to Huawei, and it also made Huawei's Kirin chips an out-of-print commodity. After losing the help of TSMC, Huawei has also increased its cooperation with other companies in order to maintain the normal production of chips. The chip war between the United States and Huawei has completely kicked off. So far, the United States has imposed sanctions on Huawei for as long as four years, and the sanctions have continued to increase each time. If the latest U.S. policy is implemented and completely blocks Huawei, not only 5G but also other aspects of Huawei's development will be restricted. After more than three years of hard work, the independent industry has ushered in an accelerated upgrade. Huawei has gotten rid of chip restrictions to a certain extent, and the domestic supply chain has gradually improved. The mobile phone business has ushered in a return. In the latest Mate 50 series mobile phones, all parts that can be replaced are localized. Su Jijun stated at the conference, Huawei has passed the crisis in 2022, and then all layouts will be normalized. In 2023, we will pursue a quality life. Although there is a lack of 5G in Kirin chips, in an interview, Yu Qingdong still proudly stated, the Mate 50 series is successful, and you can buy Huawei mobile phones if you want to buy them later. In 2023, the dual flagship model will resume, P60 and Huawei. Mate 60 will be launched simultaneously. However, this excitement has not yet passed, and bad news came out of the U.S. region. The relevant person in charge proposed a motion, require a complete cutoff of supply to Huawei, and all suppliers of U.S. companies are not allowed to ship any products, including Intel, Qualcomm, and other manufacturers. Through detailed interpretation, the restricted scope includes 4G, AI, Wi-Fi 6, 7, and high-performance computing, etc. Once the 4G level is also cut off, can Huawei's P60 and Mate 60 be released as scheduled? What impact will it have on Huawei's production capacity? Completely cut off supply to Huawei. The news of the complete cutoff came from Bloomberg and Reuters. According to them, once this new proposal is passed, it is expected to be implemented on the fourth anniversary of the implementation of the Entity List, which is around May. It is reported that the recent supply applications of U.S. manufacturers have basically been rejected. It can be seen that such news is not groundless. The U.S. media specifically reported this incident, which also increased the possibility of implementing the proposal. Therefore, Huawei should also be prepared. Up. Once this proposal is passed, it will once again affect Huawei's mobile phone business. Whether the P60 and Mate 60 can be successfully launched will also be doubtful. The two mobile phones will be launched in March and September respectively. Use Qualcomm chips. In the proposal, Qualcomm was specifically mentioned. 
Obviously, once the rules are implemented, the supply of Snapdragon chips will be interrupted again. Even 4G chips are impossible, but Huawei is clearly ready. The proportion of Huawei's domestic components is already very high, especially in some core components, it has basically achieved debeautification and reached the scope of independent control. The localization rate of the Mate 50 series has reached more than 60%, JD Dan's screen, Sunway Communications RF antenna, Zhushengwai's RF front end, etc. After going through round after round of chip rule upgrades, Huawei has carried it down and gradually turned the crisis into safety. Will the mobile phone business be affected again? Although Huawei Mate 50 is only a 4G mobile phone and has lost its own Kirin chip, Huawei has restored market trust with full sincerity. The upgrade of Hongmeng version 3.0 directly turns the mobile phone into a super terminal, which can seamlessly connect six units above equipment. The Super Transfer Station mode realizes cross-level and cross-application delay-free drag and drop, and optimizes the office experience. The added energy-concentrating pump technology can stand by for 3 hours with only 1% of the power remaining, and the hardness exceeds 10. With the addition of Kunlun glass, it has truly achieved 5 years of no jamming and no damage. In addition, the biggest highlight is the addition of the subversive technology, satellite communication, which successfully connects to the Beidou satellite, realizes signal coverage without dead ends, and at the same time automatically generates motion trajectories, sends text and positioning in real time, and provides users with the best security experience. Compared with the toothpaste squeezing upgrade of the iPhone 14, this time Huawei's Mate 50 has successfully counterattacked. The only thing that can hinder sales is the relatively incomplete supply chain, which makes it impossible to sell products on a large scale, but it is very good for the market. The subsequent release of the flagship machine laid the foundation. Even if 4G products cannot be shipped in the future, the time will have to wait until after May. Huawei still has enough time to reserve chips. According to usual habits, the P60 will most likely be released in March, so the large-scale shipments of this phone, there will be no problem. The Mate 60 series coming in September is likely to be affected to a certain extent, because after May, Qualcomm will definitely release a new high-performance chip. If the new proposal is passed, Huawei will definitely not be able to get it. But this is not enough to affect the overall situation, and the reason is very simple. Even the 5 nanometers chip has already experienced excess performance, let alone the 4 nanometers Qualcomm chip. There is no need to upgrade to the 3 nanometers level in the future. The Hongmeng system is enough smooth, what do you think of this?